the my absurdity of the world video the first absurd thing <laughs> take a look we finally have a zero percent chance of rain and I'm the only person here <laughs> on a beautiful Florida day I mean and then of course we got to exploit the boo dog so I had to bring the boo dog so we'll let's wait till we get out on the trail because I just want to talk about the absurdity of the world and that's what we're going to cause this call this video and uh let's just get going so the uh first absurd thing I wanted to get into is uh, identity politics <laughs> so what do I identify as am I uh am I a birthing man I don't know I guess uh, no probably not don't think I can have a baby might be able to kick one out but uh, because of the cancer I don't think the bullets that I shoot uh, do anything anymore so am I a man I don't know man I, you know because if you if you if you just add mankind to that word well that kind of ruins the meaning of the word man because I you know mankind used to mean that everybody's there so am I a birthing woman I well I don't think that covers me very well so uh what do I identify as uh can I call myself uh uh I don't even know Christine rather than Kirk you know and uh, and just identify as a woman I guess I could I could do that could do that could do that but you know what I identify as I'm an asshole <laughs> you just asked my wife that Democrat she'll tell you right now he's an asshole <laughs> so that's my identity just call me asshole anytime you want you ain't gonna bother me I don't give a crap just just say hey there goes that asshole <laughs> so that's the first thing that we wanted to cover uh, uh you know the the second thing i wanted to to hit on was uh you know and it's and all this virtue signaling that the democrats do with those stupid masks and uh of course now the corporations are required and employees to wear them so let me and that's why i said this is the absurdity video okay so now if everybody is vaccinated okay and that's supposed to prevent you from getting the virus which evidently it doesn't because it seems like if you're vaccinated you can still get the virus but they're saying it won't be as severe okay so if you if even so even if you get the virus okay and it's not very severe just kind of a bad cold or whatever why are you wearing a mask <laughs> I call it a face diaper myself, you know, everybody wants to wear them face diapers, you know Luckily here in Florida, you know, you'd still see them on people and uh, you know out in parking lots and stuff Even here in Florida, you know, we're free state free Republican state, you know, you still got people with the masks on and You do understand that the virus is a very small uh, microorganism that will easily just go right out of the side of that mask and uh and and infect somebody so if you've got the vaccination and you can infect somebody or you haven't got the vaccination and you can infect somebody what's the point of the vaccination <laughs> is that absurd or what and and so here here let's just go back in time so let's say that i didn't get the measles vaccine okay so because I didn't get the measles vaccine, does that mean that I'm a walking measles contagion that I am going to infect all the other people that have been vaccinated for the measles, measles? Or even let's take smallpox, you know? So if I, if I didn't get the smallpox vaccine, am I a walking contagion of smallpox for people that have been vaccinated against smallpox? Okay, I don't think this was ever an issue in my lifetime uh, you know because I have been vaccinated for the measles I'm not sure it's still valid anymore because once I got that uh, um, 
bone marrow transplant or stem cell transplant, whichever way you want to look at it, they wiped out my immune system. So who knows, maybe I'm a walking, breathing measle and smallpox factory that you got to fear. That's why I'm an asshole. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, because, you know, they, when they wiped out my immune system, uh, you know, that, that basically invalidated all my vaccines. Now, I did go back and I got a lot of the, like, I got the pneumonia vaccine again, and I got, uh, uh, there was only, but see, I, I could only get the inactive, I don't know what, you, what they call them, because you have active vaccines and then you have inactive vaccines. And I'm not even sure what, what you can call the, uh, the jab vaccine. Because it's a, it's a whole new technology. Uh, what is it? R, R, RNA? RNA vaccine? You know, who knows what the hell that is. And uh, here's the other thing. So, if an unvaccinated person of any, of any disease, let's just take, well, I've already talked about smallpox, measles, you know, whatever, tuberculosis, whatever disease you want to talk about, and you're sitting next to a person who's had a vaccine or been vaccinated oh what's the danger because the vaccine worked they're immune it's only the walking breathing uh, you know unvaccinated person that can get sick right because if you've had the vaccine you're gonna be okay because they can't give it to you or even if you get it well with with the with the jab I'm calling it the jab with the jab you know you, they're saying you will only get a mild case so number one, you, know, you understand that the mask doesn't protect you. And all that is is virtue signaling. And uh, boy, I love seeing that on Biden's face. <laughs> I hope he wears it to bed, that stupid son of a gun. You know, I, you know that's why I love Trump, man, because he's an asshole, you know. <laughs> I love assholes. I'm an asshole. Trump's an asshole. You know, but I mean, that's, uh, you know, but I, I just, I, you know, and you never saw Trump wearing a mask. You know, and he got the, he got COVID and uh, he got... And so he's got natural immunity now, you know, and boy, oh boy, the Democrats, they can't stand the fact that he just had, didn't have a hard time with it, you know, just went in and got the proper treatment. And, uh, you know, you, you I'm sure you, if you follow anything about the jab, you know, you, there's all kinds of treatments out there now. So uh, it's very rare, very rare that anybody is dying from the the uh, disease, you know, especially now that a lot of people have been vaccinated uh, and a lot of people have had it. So we are getting bumping up to what's called herd immunity. Well, you know, before that idiot, I mean, here's, here's another thing that's absurd. Okay, let's just get on to a different topic. How is it that somebody can be wrong for, for over two years who's in charge of the CDC, and you know who I'm talking about, that fochy idiot. How can you be wrong about everything in your job and still keep your job? One of the highest paid uh, people in the government and uh, and he still got his job. Is it, is it this the most absurd thing you've ever heard of? Oh my God, don't get me started. That's why I said this is the absurdity video. You know, if I could go in, boy, I tell you, if I, if I could get a job making $400,000 a year and be wrong, 90% of the time <laughs> and keep my job boy talk about grifting holy moly that would be awesome you know so uh let's get on to another absurd thing so let's just pretend that I stayed in the military because I was only in 11 years and I finally achieved the rank of uh of uh you know that Millie trader that's in the White House and uh and I do something completely absurd and leave Americans behind enemy lines in Afghanistan. Pull the military out first before you pull the civilians out and keep my job. <laughs> How is that guy still got a job? I mean, I, I've never seen such incompetence in our military leadership that exists right now in the, in the United States. I mean, if I'm, I'm going to tell you what, man, maybe this video will get over to a, a foreign nation. Because now, now is the time if you want to make a move on the United States. <laughs> our, our, our military uh, leadership, uh, they don't know their, their ass from a hole in the ground. And, uh, you know, it'd be a real good time to make your move. You know, that's all I'm saying. Because <laughs> they, they, they don't even know how to fight a war. You know, 
Oh my God, the Pattons are gone, the Eisenhowers are gone. You know, look, I guess the, you know, the greatest general, if you ever want to read about him, little edumacation here for you, was Stonewall Jackson. I don't even include Robert Lee Lee in that, that category, because the fiasco that Robert E. Lee did at Gettysburg, that lost the South the war. Not that they wanted the South to win the war, because uh, that's a Democrat party, right? You know, slavery, party of slavery. But, uh, you know, I did want, uh, I, you know, I, I guess, you know, you, sometimes you have to respect your enemy. I mean, think about Patton. He studied Rommel. You know, Rommel, one of the greatest German generals that ever existed, uh, and Patton studied him, and then he defeated him in Africa. Yeah, go back and read your history books. You'll learn all about that stuff. Stonewall Jackson, oh my God. I mean, I, I read, I used to read books about him. Now you want to talk about a general that never made a mistake that I can recall. And he, he always fought superior forces with an inferior force and won every single time until he was shot by one of his own troops, you know? And, and, and you know, that's, uh, it was just an unfortunate accident. I hope, you know, who knows, could have been a traitor in the midst um, or, or a patriot if you want to look at it that way. Cause uh, you know, like I said, the Republicans were fighting against slavery and the Democrats are, were all for slavery. So that's the next absurd thing I want, <laughs> wanted to talk about is how do you, how do you create the fiasco in Afghanistan and keep your job? Somebody explain this to me. Oh my God, don't get me started, you know? And then I, you know, the other day, that's another absurd thing. So I met these two Democrats and they wanted to argue with me about, uh, you know, Trump, you know, orange man bad, orange man bad, you get that all the time. And uh, so they're going on and on, you know? And they said, well, how about the insurrection? The insurrection that took place on January 6th. You mean those people that walked into the Capitol building <laughs> and the FBI has already concluded it wasn't even an organized uh, event that nobody knew what the hell was going on and the Capitol Police invited, it was a setup, man. How can you, I mean, if you're a Democrat, how can you not see that? It was a setup. And uh, it, none of them even had a gun. How in the world do you commit an insurrection without a gun? <laughs> you know? I'm gonna tell you what, if I'm gonna be an insurrectionist or a revolutionary, People, I'll be weaponed up to the max. I will have every weapon known to mankind. And if I would be bringing a tank to the Capitol building. And first off, you know, the Capitol police can line their bodies right along the front. And man, one fire from that tank and boom, no more Capitol police. <laughs> you know? That's an insurrection. That's an, in see how absurd that is? So none of them even had a gun. And they, they, they want to label that an insurrection? I mean, this is the absurd stuff that we're living with in the world. And you wonder why I just go hiking. It's because I can't even be around people anymore because everybody's lost a dog on mines. I mean, why is this just so obvious to me? Woo, got a, got a dragonfly on me. And uh, so anyway, I'm just out enjoying the day with the dog and uh, we're going for a nice hike. Uh, I, you know, I might tack on to this video, but uh, you know, it takes me, uh, my internet speed sucks, man, because I'm an asshole. And uh, you know, so for me to upload these, it takes a long time. And uh, my wife, uh, she hates these videos. <laughs> well, like I said, if you, if you ask her, she'll say, he's an asshole. <laughs> oh me, you know, I could, I could just go on and on. I mean, and, and, and well, it's okay, let's get on another, another absurd thing. And the Democrats are all for it. I don't get it. My wife, she came in my office yesterday and uh, I was watching, um, I don't know, something something on YouTube and they were talking about the 12,000 Haitians that just crossed the border. It's an invasion, people, it's an invasion. Our southern border is being invaded and uh, Biden's letting it happen on purpose. I assume he just wants to turn them into slaves. That's the only thing I can think of. They are the party of slavery, you know, the Democrats. And, uh, so, and, and so I said, well, you know, she, cause she says, well, don't you want to watch a movie with me? And I said, well, yeah, I guess, but I'm an asshole. And uh, I said, well, yeah, if you want to watch this Southern invasion here, uh, this clip on YouTube about 12,000 people that just crossed the border. Uh, and boy, she, she goes, you're a, you're a right wing lunatic. You're a right wing lunatic. And then she slams the door to my office and I, you know, I'm just sitting in there just minding my own dog on business. But this is how Democrats are. 
That's right, because I'm, I'm worried about the southern border, I'm a right-wing lunatic. <laughs> I don't even know how the Democrats justify that. How do you justify an open border if you're a Democrat voter? Now, I understand the administration wants all these people invading our country. You know, you got fentanyl coming across, killing people. By the, by the thousands, from what I understand. You got the drug cartels coming across. You've got all of the, uh, and then, you know, you gotta give them credit, man. Let's give credit where credit is due to this, the, the southern nations, you know, like Mexico and Honduras and uh, Nicaragua. I mean, they're emptying their prisons and just sending, sending all their criminals to the United States. And the Democrats are for it. <laughs> is that absurd or what? Oh my God, I, you know, I guess I'm getting a little long in the tooth on this video. But I just, I, I just, that's why I go hiking, people. That's why I go hiking, because the whole world has lost its mind. And, uh, you know, and so I just like to get out here and I'm going to put some music on and just, just me and the dog. Did pass one guy on a bicycle back there, so I did. I'm not completely alone in the park, but uh, you can see there's not, not many people, you know. And here's another thing. Uh, where, you know... Where is my danger here? Danger, Will Robinson, danger. Uh, COVID's gonna blow in off of these trees and uh, and infect me, you know. Oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta be out here all worried about the, the virus, you know. No, people, I'm just, you know, getting my exercise, weaponing up the body and having a beautiful day with the dog and uh, because I'm an asshole. <laughs> Oh my God, I, you know, I, you know, there's so many things that are just so absurd right now that the Democrats want. Well, here, oh, there's another one. It just, I tell you, this shit just pops into my head. $3.5 trillion. Now, and when I say dollars, okay, when well, I'm talking about currency, I'm not talking about money here, but, you know, if you're a young person, who's going to pay that back? And, and then Biden says, oh, it's going to cost us zero in taxes. No, the Democrats are already talking about raising taxes. You got inflation going on, and they're all for it. They're all for it. I just, it, it, see how absurd. That's why I said this is the absurdity video, you know. So, what do you, I mean, and you just see the stuff in that bill. You know, most Americans, and that's, you know, that's why I understand, you know, Democrats just want to bury their head in the sand and not look at anything, you know. And, uh, I, you know, I can dig it, you know. But when it affects your pocketbook, when you can't get uh, goods, when you can't, your food costs twice as much uh, next week as it did today. When your gas costs twice as much next week as it did today. You know, when, when you got Biden up there shutting down the Keystone pipeline and destroying the fracking industry and importing our oil again from OPEC and uh, the shipping containers parked off of the coast. You know, I understand you don't want to pay attention to any of it, you know, and that's fine, but it's gonna, it's gonna hit you. I don't care whether you're Republican, Democrat, Independent, you know, you transgender, you know, whatever. Just be an asshole <laughs> like me, you know, and because uh, it's gonna hit you. And so that's why I pay attention to these things. Now, can I prepare for everything? No, no, I can't. But I mean, you know, there, there, there are steps, baby steps. I call them baby steps, and I've been making a lot of baby steps, you know. Um, you know, I got the, uh, I got rid of my gas guzzling Hyundai Sonata, for example. We made videos about that and bought the Toyota Prius Prime. You think I burned one ounce of gas coming here to the park today? And this is not real close to my house. I just come here because I love it. It's beautiful. Everything's blooming and a perfect day to get out for a hike. And, uh, but it was all electric. And has my electric bill gone up as a result of charging up those batteries in the Toyota Prius Prime? Not really. I'm not seeing anything on my bill that's uh, that's increasing by by very much. Uh, so you know maybe who knows? Maybe I'm spending another two or three dollars a month on electricity for plugging in that Prius Prime. Um, I don't know. Don't know. I mean you know I've kind of like I said I've just compared the bills and yeah you know, it's basically about the same. So and I made a time video a while back you know about how valuable your time is. I don't go to the gas pump anymore. Hardly ever. I mean, you know, I might go, well, I've been 2,500 miles in the car and I've only been to the gas pump, I think twice. I think I've been twice. And each time I, was, I had only filled it up a half a tank because I do try to keep it full, you know. Um, so I don't know what to tell you. 
So in my preparing for $6 a gallon, and I keep telling y'all that, $6, that's absurd. It's absurd. And the Democrats want six dollar a gallon prices that's the new green deal baby the new green deal i mean does the new green deal make sense to you i mean it's like biting the hand off the feet oh here oh here's another absurd thing oh my god this video is going to get too long all right so up in new york all the nurses quit because they don't want to get the jab i don't blame them you know they, they've seen too many people have reactions to it, even though the government will tell you that everything's A-OK, -okay, nobody has a reaction to it. No, there's a lot of evidence out there that uh, some people do. You know, like I said, I had a real bad reaction to that anthrax vaccine. So, uh, so don't tell me vaccines are all safe. So the nurses decided they didn't want to get the jab. So rather than the governor using some common sense and saying, OK, you know what? We got to keep the nurses in the hospital. I'll make it voluntary. To get the jab and uh and maybe you know what, what i would have done as governor just incentivize it a little bit you know if you get the jab you you're going to get a dollar raise per hour or something you know something silly like that you know whatever you whatever they want to do no she let all the nurses quit and calling up your national guard <laughs> to fill and now can you no do you want to be in a hospital being taken care of by an untrained uh you know un, uneducated national guard member or would you rather have a qualified, well-trained, you know, schooled nurse? If you live in New York, I guess you want your National Guard taking care of you. It's absurd. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's another absurdity. You know, we talked about this in the previous video. You got the UK right now. All right, so even here in the United States. So we, we've basically just dissed the truckers. And, you know, because they don't, they, they weren't making a lot of money. A lot of them were independent. And uh, we've just basically, pardon my French, just shit all over them. And so now it's coming back to haunt your supply chains around the world, you know. Especially. So in the UK, rather than just say, okay, you know what? We're going to up the pay of the truckers. We're going to give them some benefits, uh, you know, maybe some free health care or something. You know, we're going to take care of our truckers. No, they're calling out the National Guard <laughs> in the UK to drive the trucks because the truckers won't do it. You know, same thing here in the United States. You know, if we want the truckers to actually deliver the goods around the United States, you got to treat them good, right? You know, incentivize people to, to get out and do the hard work. Yeah, like me, I, I, I'll just give you an example because I'm an asshole. Um, I could not drive a truck for a living. I'd be a nervous wreck, man, because you got all of these idiot drivers out there that are on their cell phones. So even today, a woman almost hit my car. She's sitting there just talking away on the phone, you know, and uh, I mean, she came within a foot of hitting my car just because she was making a turn. I'm just sitting at the stop sign. I wasn't even going nowhere. You know, and this is how stupid people are. So when you're driving a, a tractor trailer, you know, have you ever driven one of those? I have, and I'll tell you what, I was a, ner a nervous wreck. You know, when you hit the brakes on one of those, especially, can, now you can't even imagine the guys that haul gas for a living. You know, all that liquid. I mean, when you hit the brake pedal, you know, it takes a long ways for those trucks to stop. And how absurd is this? You know, the stoplights, they only turn yellow for a brief period of time. You know, and so you're coming up at a, at a tractor trailer on a stoplight, and I've done it, and it turns yellow and you're way away you're way away you hit the brakes you know unless you're going to lock the truck up you can't do that you know so you hit the brakes that light usually turns red and you got you got to make a choice you know are you going to just leave the truck in the middle of the intersection or just go right through the red light you're going to go through the red light i'm just telling you and so that's why you know when when the light turns green you better be looking both ways. Otherwise, you're going to get, uh, you know, you're going to get smashed by a tractor trailer. And that's how 